Server 39 Quebec, descend and maintain 3000. 3000, 39 Quebec. Server 2 Each airport in the National Airspace System has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Snohomish County Payne Field is a medium-sized multi-use airport located approximately 25 miles north of Seattle's SeaTac International Airport, just east of the Puget Sound in Everett, Washington. While it is primarily a general aviation airport, there is a large Boeing aircraft manufacturing facility on the field. Test flights and taxi tests with large and heavy jet traffic are common here. The airport also has daily air carrier operations. In addition to this, there are several flight schools located at the airport. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft makes Payne Field a challenging environment for both controllers and pilots. The airport configuration consists of two parallel runways, one six left and right and three four left and right with staggered thresholds. A full length parallel taxiway is associated with both runway one six left, three four right and runway 16 right, 34 left. A complex taxiway system provides access to all services, terminals, and businesses primarily located between the runways. As with any airport with parallel runways with staggered thresholds, the potential exists for wrong surface landings. Full-length parallel taxiways increase this risk even further. Pilots should note that runway 16 left 34 right is half the size of the larger 16 right 34 left. Keep in mind that you may be assigned either runway and be prepared to positively identify your assigned runway as soon as possible. Hotspot 1 is located at the south end of Taxiway Alpha between Taxiways Alpha 9er and Alpha 10. This area is not visible from the tower. Pilots may need to give more precise position reports to the tower when taxiing for departure on runway 34 left in this area. Hotspot 2 is found at the other end of runway 16 right 34 left. Taxiway Alpha 1 leads directly to the approach end of runway 16 right and is the correct route for aircraft utilizing the full length of runway 16 right. Pilots should not use Taxiway Alpha Alpha unless specifically instructed to do so by ATC. While not listed as hotspots, there are several areas at the airport that still warrant special attention from pilots, especially first-time visitors. Intersection departures are commonly used on runway 16 right 34 left at taxiways Alpha 5 and Alpha 6. There have been several instances where a pilot is cleared for an intersection departure on one runway and for whatever reason has tried to depart in the wrong direction. This has obvious consequences, especially if there is traffic on final. Verifying your heading before takeoff to ensure your clearance and heading match will go a long way in helping to prevent this problem. Another wrong surface takeoff risk exists on the other side of the airport. Aircraft taxiing from the large non-movement area west of the runway to depart runway 16 left have sometimes called the control tower ready for takeoff while holding short of the non-movement area, misled by the line at the edge of the ramp near Taxiway Golf 1. When cleared for takeoff, the pilots then inadvertently turned onto and departed Taxiway Golf. Pilots should not contact the tower for takeoff until they are holding short of the hold line next to the runway at Taxiway Golf 1. A clear understanding of pavement markings and signage as well as being aware of where you actually are located on the airport will help avoid this mistake. The last area to be concerned with is located at the intersection of taxiways Charlie, Delta, Alpha, and Juliet. This is simply a large and potentially confusing intersection. 
when departing or arriving, clear understanding of your assigned taxi route, including turns and hold short instructions, before you taxi, will help avoid mistakes like the ones listed here. The use of moving map displays and airport diagrams will make this task that much simpler. As with any ATC instruction, if you are ever in doubt or confused, ask the tower. Controllers would much rather spend an extra few seconds clarifying or providing progressive taxi instructions than be faced with a surface incident. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Payne Field will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Snohomish County Payne Field Airport. It's always better to know before you go.